more insight into the cyber attack on Sony, we are now joined by Scott Schober in New Jersey. He is a cyber security expert and is the president and CEO of Berkeley Veritronics Systems. Welcome back to the broadcast. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Susan. So you just heard our, our report previously. The DPRK says it's not behind the attack. The U.S. believes it is responsible. Will we ever know for sure? We'll probably not know 100% for sure, and, and both sides are going to hold pretty tight to what they're saying. Uh, but things will slowly come out. Uh, the, the malware that was a destructive nature malware that was used is used by many different hackers, and it can be modified slightly, so you really can't trace its origin, and, and that's going to be very difficult for somebody to say conclusively, even cybersecurity experts to conclusively say, this is where it originated, so it can be challenging. Now, that being said, the, the Internet traffic is really routed through China uh, between the servers and, and all the different connections for the network. So China comes into play to some degree with this. And uh, so when things are taken down, such as when North Korea's uh, 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 communications went down in the network, it, it could be seen some degree through China. So there's some, certainly some concern there because China and North Korea, there are allies. And that's why I think President Obama reached out to China early on to this to get some help here in determining who's the culprit behind some of the, these hacks with Sony. What can other companies out there do to ensure that this doesn't happen to them, that it's not a repeat? Yeah, a great point there. Well, well, keep in mind, this is a very different type of warfare. This is a cyber war. And in the case with Sony, it's a very focused, targeted attack against Sony, against the employees, and really, it's, it's entire infrastructure there, because I, I still strongly believe, and some others too, that this had some degree of insider information that was leaked out, because so much detailed information about Sony's servers and the network infrastructure had to be included with this type of attack. Because Sony's a media company. They're putting movies out there. They've got actors and actresses and things very closely tied to their intellectual property. So your, your traditional company does probably not have the same concerns, but they still should have best practices in place. Keeping confidential information confidential, not putting too much out there, certainly we see Sony did, and, and using best practices with passwords and security on their servers. Scott, Xbox and Sony are back up and running after they were hacked. As you know, a hacking group called Lizard Squad says they're behind it. The name is the same one used by a group of hackers that targeted Sony in the past. How can we verify this? Well, well certainly it was an interesting spin on that. And Lizard Squad is claiming, and they put out a lot of tweets and a lot of information. And there was an interview earlier today, too, that uh, somebody was taking claim from Lizard Squad. Hard, hard to verify 100%, but looking at past hacks, and they have hacked PlayStation in the past, it seems very closely tied in there. So pretty good chance it was Lizard Squad, and, and they were kind of bribed to, to stop doing this, and it looks like that was somewhat successful because now people are back online after about 48 hours of interruption. And it was interesting. It wasn't just PlayStation, but it was also the, uh, the Xbox, Microsoft's product that was targeted as well for uh, probably 100 to 150 million online users affected. So tremendous message that was sent across there. And it was really, again, for bragging rights. That's what they were trying to do there. Certainly very humiliating for those companies at this Christmas time. Thank Definitely. you so much, Scott Schober, joining us from New Jersey. As always, wonderful to see you. We appreciate your time. Great. Hey, thanks for having me on again.